New coach, new quarterback. Mark Rogers TV continuing our series looking at every Power 5 conference schedule in America. We are down to the wire. We have kickoffs tonight on Thursday, uh, but we will get these schedule previews in before that particular team's opening kickoff. And so we've got some time with the Washington Huskies. Chris Peterson in as the new head coach from Boise State with Sark moving to USC. A bit of a different uh, opener for Washington this season. Going to Hawaii across the ocean to take on the Rainbows in Honolulu, 7.30 local time, week one. USC did it last year to open up 2013. This year it's Washington as a 17-point favorite against Hawaii, against the Rainbows. They've got to win that football game. Washington looks to be the dark horse in that North Division. So it's been ruled by Oregon and Stanford. Oregon State's contended to a certain degree in recent years. Washington's been somewhat off the map. Sark brought them back. To respectability getting to bowl games can chris peterson do his magic can he work the magic that he worked at uh, boise state we shall see again hawaii then it's eastern washington at home got to win those two games got to really win the four non-conference games because they're not that difficult the one power five conference games against the fighting illini of illinois in seattle so the huskies uh pay off the return trip they made to Illinois to take on the Fighting Illini at, uh, I believe that game was played at Wrigley Field or Soldier Field uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, the Huskies won it by 10. Illinois coming to Seattle. This has to be a win for the Huskies. Illinois, one of the worst teams in the Big Ten, finally broke a long, long Big Ten losing streak near the end of last season against Purdue. So a 1-7 in seven Big Ten team coming in. Then it's Georgia State. So again, Hawaii, Eastern Washington, Illinois, Georgia State has to be one of the worst schedules in the Pac-12 in terms of non-conference play. And at this point, I'm going to say, I'm going to go on record before I looked at some of the other schedules that this would be the worst non-conference schedule in the Pac-12. Then it gets mighty tough. All right. So in the Pac-12, you've got nine conference games. So you either have five at home or five on the road. So let's check it out for C uh, for the uh, Washington Huskies, and in particular, who they don't play. So when you play nine conference games in a 12-team conference, you miss two opponents. USC and Utah are the two teams that Washington will not play in 2014. So a slight break there for the Huskies not having to play. The Trojans, one of the better teams in the conference, I would say, in the top four. And then they don't play Utah. Uh, the Utes are a tough opponent, but uh, certainly not one of the better teams in the Pac-12. It starts off very, very challenging. Stanford at home, then they go to Cal, then they've got Oregon on the road, they've got Arizona State at home. Those are four difficult games in totality. Of course, the Golden Bears coming off 1-11, that has to be a win. Washington needs to steal another game. Between the Stanford, Oregon, and Arizona State teams, they need to, to steal another one. They're going to be definitely an underdog against Stanford and Oregon. Playing Arizona State at home, they could be a slight slim favorite in that game. Then they've got Colorado, UCLA at home, Arizona on the road, Oregon State at home. Then they finish up the Apple Cup against Washington State. So they will be a prohibitive favorite against Cal Colorado, Washington State. Not that they have a gimme against Washington State. Lost that game a couple years ago when the Cougars were 1-10. Uh, but those three games, they will be a substantial favorite. The, the games that they will be a substantial underdog, Stanford, Oregon, UCLA, even at home, probably a decent touchdown underdog, something like that at that point. It's tough to guess. It's a November 8th game. Washington looks to be about a... Eight and four squad. They go four and f uh, let's say they go. Uh, actually, they've got thirteen games with a four nine conference game. So unusual schedule here. Thirteen games. So let's put the Huskies at nine and four, and let's see what you think. Because they go four and zero non conference, they have to, and then they need to achieve five and four in the Pac twelve to get them to maybe a little bit better of a bowl game than they've had in the past couple years in Sark's last two years in rebuilding the program there in Seattle. So there you have it. It would be nice if the Huskies could pull off a win against either Stanford, Oregon, or UCLA. Those are the games. Those are the teams above them. The teams on the same level, Oregon State, Arizona, Arizona State. Those are the three games there. If they could win two out of three, that's huge. Then they beat up on Washington State. 
Colorado, and Cal. Or it could be a better season than 9-4 and four if they're able to do that. Follow that formula. Steal one against Stanford, Oregon, UCLA. Uh, win two of the three against the three teams on the Huskies level. And then sweep the other three. That brings them to a 9-3 and three season uh, in doing that. Mark Rogers TV on the Washington Huskies would love to hear from Husky fans talking about uh, Chris Peterson's first season in Seattle right here on Mark Rogers TV.